Outlaw Collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Ultra Action figure for Ultraman Decker Dynamic Type. I think the figure looks really cool, but even more so, I am really excited about the accessories. For the longest time, we never saw accessories with this line, but more and more we're starting to see them released with figures, and I think that's absolutely fantastic. You can see here we get the Ultra Dual Sword in Decker mode, and then we also get the Shield Caliber, which actually does have the ability to transform from shield mode to caliber mode. You just remove these pieces and switch them around. I think that's really cool, really simple, but it works. I'm really happy for it. I thought maybe they were gonna do the caliber mode in some future release or something like that, but it actually can transform, which is really cool. So taking a look on the back, you just see some product shots here, different poses with the accessories. They even have flash type holding the dual sword. But yeah, very cool. I'm excited for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the packaging here and we're gonna take a closer look. So here is Ultraman Decker Dynamic Type. I think they did a really nice job with this figure. It looks like they made the torso out of the light blue plastic and then added all the paint applications on top of that. I think it came out really good. Head sculpt looks really nice. A lot of nice metallic gold and silver paint there, looking very sharp. Head can rotate side to side. It can go forward a little bit. Can't really look back all that much. And you don't really have any side to side tilt but he can look down a little bit. You have a nice hinge and a rotation here in the shoulder. You have a bicep swivel, I would say 90 degrees there in the elbow. You have a wrist swivel, and then he's got these kind of two sets of fingers here. So these two are one set, and then these two are one set that you can kind of grasp or make a fist. Nothing in the waist. Uh, you can kick forward pretty well, kick out to the side pretty well. Can't really go back at all because of the butt flap. No thigh swivel, which is kind of a bummer, but the line has never had thigh swivel, so no sense complaining about it now, I guess. Uh, a little bit over 90 degrees there in the knee, and then you have a ball joint here in the ankle. But overall, yeah, I think the paint applications look really sharp. I think it's a nice figure. Uh, a lot of times you can see that the paint kind of stops at the halfway point. I kind of wish they had just sprung for it with the boots. Uh, I can kind of forgive the silver stopping halfway because it almost looks like it wouldn't really go much further, but it would have been nice to just have the boots go all the way around. But other than that, I think he looks really nice, and I do think they did a really nice job. You have all these paint applications here on the gauntlet, and they did have those go all the way around, which I appreciate. And then um, I'm not really quite sure what's going on here. It seems like they would have just had to do this little bit of red here. They They did it on all the parts of the shoulder and the bicep. Well, no, I guess it, it does stop. It's like three quarters of the way around the bicep, and then it kind of just stops right there. It's very strange, but at least we have everything going on down here on the forearms. That looks really sharp, and I think the legs look really good. So just a few other places could have made it perfect, but I get it. You know, they're on a budget, so they have to kind of leave off paint a few places, especially when they are including two Count them to fantastic accessories. I think both of these really came out great. So first up, we have the Ultra Dual Sword, which I believe is molded in this kind of gold plastic, and then they painted the red and the blue. You can't close it up into the trigger mode, but I get it. It's fine, and I'm perfectly fine with that. And it looks good. I think they did a nice job with it. Really nicely molded a detail there. Looks very good. And then we have the Shield Caliber, which has this big handle here on the back. And this is the shield mode. Transforming it is very simple. You just grab a hold of these pieces and you just pop them out. You can see that there's just a little square peg hole there and then there's these little pegs. So all you do is pop both of these out and then switch them. So if it was in the bottom one, now you move it up to the top one and pop that back in and then pop this one down here. And now you have the caliber mode. Very simple to, to transform there. No problem whatsoever. And it looks great in both modes. Nice little bit of metallic gold paint there. So now we'll pop them into the hands. Now I will admit that these don't really hold as well as I'd like them. It's just the way they have these gripping hands. They're just not the best. I kind of would rather... I know they boast it as a point of articulation, but I would rather just have static hands that can actually grip the things and they don't fall out. But you can still get it to work. Let's see if we can get some... <laughs> as the sword falls right out of the hand. But no, I've, I've used accessories with other figures before, and you can get it to work. It's just a matter of finding the balance and everything. So there we go. 
he can hold them both. That's not too bad. Let me zoom out here. Maybe I can bring this in. I think because the sword is heavier, he has a harder time holding on to that. There we go. Maybe something like that. The accessories look great. I just wish he could hold them a little better just because... I don't know, those, those two sets of fingers, I feel like uh, Ryder used to do that a lot and then they kind of got away from it. It just doesn't really work all that well, unfortunately, but when you can get them to pose, it does look really good. And I think the accessories themselves look really good. So it's a nice looking figure. Obviously, I would have liked a couple more paint applications, but I get it. And obviously, if I'm making a wish list, I'd like a waist swivel and a thigh swivel, but again... Line has never had that, so not really any point in complaining about it now. I think it's a nice looking figure. I really like the accessories, and I really enjoy the fact that they're including them more and more, especially when it makes sense. So I think this is one of the better ones they've done. Really looks sharp, really nice accessories. I think it's worth adding to your collection. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.